You're with me, Luke Gao Sigana, how we suit, and welcome to Be My Guest, the show that will take you to meet the masterminds of many popular Thai products in the world of fashion. Now, this week we're back again at Terminal 21. However, the designer and expert for this week's show specializes in handmade leather goods under the brand Hob Shop. And at the moment, I'm here with Kun Wanida Shortana Sinjarun, or Kun Gif, who is the co-owner of Hub Shop. Swadika, Kun Gif. Swadika. So, Kun Gif, um, how many co-owners are there actually? I um, actually we have three. three. It's like Hob, my brother, my big brother, who like create all the stuff ah. here. Jill, my sister, and me, Gif. We are like brother and sisters. Also, oh, it's it's very very family business. Then. Yes, exactly. So the three of you all look after the shop. Yes. Oh, cool. And like, I'm like also the maker as well. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, that's great. So can you tell me more about how Hop Shop started up? How many years has it been now? Um, we started at like in 2007, so now it's like seven years. Wow. We started like Solunai Bazaar. Oh, okay. Like we start from like making like just, just some like bracelets or belts. Yeah, that's that's how we start. Why why did you get into starting? It's um, I heard that your family business actually makes uh, yes, it's like my leather. yes, my family business. Like we do have a leather shop, yes. and Hop uh, how the, how he started. It's like we found some like leftover piece of leather at home at our at my parents' shop, and then um, what can we do with this piece of leather? And it's like the small piece, so we can make like the bracelet in uh. our own style and his style. Yes. Oh, that's very creative. So you're making use of uh, your family business. Yeah, that's how we started from. What did your parents think of that? Not really. Like at first, they think like, "Are you sure? <laughs> you don't want to like do the same business?" Uh -huh. And Hop was like, mm, "Maybe not. I'm trying to do like make something different, and like we can like um, grow from the start business to like something else, which is like." Based on the leather as well. Right. So, are they? Is your family still doing the leather business? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's been a long time as well. And yes, oh, like thirty years. Yeah, wow. they have been, we have been in this business. Is it based in Bangkok? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. So, do you actually? Is there actually a farm, or no? Um, it's just like a, a shop that we call with like the tannery factory, yep. and then they like send the leather to us. Okay, so you started at the Night Design so Lung. Yes. Cat. How was the feedback from the early stages when you started the business? Was there bits where you felt like you could not go on or like um, what were the challenges at the from start? From like the, the very first days, I might say that's quite tough. Very tough? Yes, it's like nobody would understand like ah. Uh, could have like we normally just see like the bracelet, just like the strap, and that's it. What we do with like in other shape, and the people like Thai people from the very first, so they're gonna be like, whoa, can you really wear this? Or but we like got lucky because like there's some foreigners found us and like this is really cool. I'm gonna take them all. So uh -huh. that's how we get like wow, this is gonna work. Uh -huh. So yeah. <laughs> so mate, mate, you're. The main uh, base for your customers were the foreigners yes. at the start, yes. right? Yes, they understand us better, I must say. <laughs> wow, is that is that because of your style as well? Yes, like you, our style. You were you uh, any of your family were you brought up about abroad or? No, we like we've been brought up here in Thailand. What we kind of like. We don't like the some soap opera Thai TV show. <laughs> no, we like some other programs, like international program. We just like give us some like creativity or something like that. Your accent is very British, I think as well. <laughs> is that from TV? From TV and just you know pretending. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worked out very good. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were brought up there. <laughs> So can you tell me a bit more about Hop Shop? Like, uh, what you have bags? What else do you have? We have bags. Bracelets. We have watches here. Uh -huh. We have some like wallets. And normally we do 
belt but not this week i'm sorry about that i can have no sample to show you today and we have some like shoes as well uh, so, men's like, wear. yeah it's like in hot family as well we call lela neta uh, mm -hmm. okay. this we make shoes and yeah just like normally just like more like clutch bags and bags yeah nice so what drew you to create bags like why bags why does it have to be bags? Why bags? Yeah, okay. Why bags? <laughs> Since it's like family business, my brother, my sister, and me, and we're like, before we start like create some new products, we're gonna like talk to each other like, okay, what do you like? And as you're a girl, you also you also know that as a girl, we never get enough of bags and shoes. <laughs> am I right? Yes. <laughs> yes <very laughs> so much. yeah, that's why it's bags because we never get enough of bags, mm -hmm. and it can be like in different shape. And we can make it like by our own hands as well because everything is like all handmade here. Wow. So yeah, it's very nice. What about the? Um, let's talk a bit about the concept of the uh, brand. From what I see, it's very colorful and it's very bold. Okay, our concept is like be different. Be different. Yeah, from we just read the fashion magazine just to see. Okay, if they have something like this already we're not gonna make it oh, okay yeah that's that's our concept just be different be unique and different so what what if you went and saw something that was like very similar to your products would you be like oh okay we're going to change and do something else now um, that's how that's like, like some problem that we face at the early age of like when we start making our product like we see some I must say it's like copy products uh. like copy our idea so at first like when we saw it just like just as the young designer, oh, we are like, oh, upset. Mm. And then we kind of get used to it and think, if we believe in our products, nobody could do anything to us. We believe in our product. We believe in our quality and everything and our style. So, yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, so, has the concept eventually evolved from when you started? Or is it is it pretty much around the same lines? Yeah, the same lines. It's just like we still have some design that we start since like 2007 is still in our shop because like still can be sold and it's like different mm. so yeah so what age group are your customers i'm guessing from the products would they be younger the younger generation that you're targeting yeah it's like at my age or like can be like older or younger at first when we start we just like making watches and everything like the group of the customers going to be like teenagers mm -hmm. but now since we make that yeah, and clutch back. So the group of like our customer is gonna be at my age, around like twenty five age, and then yeah, mm. much more. And even like foreigner, like um, I must say that some Thai people, like in like their age, yep. they're gonna think that our product is like too young, too young, too young for them. But as foreigners, I, that's how I love about foreigners that they. They're young at heart. They say, why not? Why not? I love it. I'm going to use it. I don't care. That's how I love it. So yeah, our group is like different and yeah, variety of, right. yeah. So uh, is it just a new, is this a new thing to target Thai customers? So before you had the, the main target being uh, foreign customers mm -hmm. and that's always been the main group, right? But is this like, an, how long have you been trying to draw the Thai audience? Um, We've been trying since like since we started, like all they can buy is like watch, and like as you can see, like Thai people, like they're more into like oh this is like just look like the designer bags like branded. I'm gonna buy them. They're not gonna buy something like oh it's different. I'm gonna have it because it's different. But in Thai people, they're gonna think that I'm gonna have it because they look like branded. Yeah. Because of the brand. Yes, because of the brand. So now just like, okay, whatever, buy it if you like it. Don't buy it if you <laughs> like it. <laughs> well, I guess that's why you established the brand. Yes. As um, like a very like unique brand yes. that's well known. Because yes. Hop Shop is quite well known yes. in the young generation actually. And um, it's also marketed overseas as well. Yes. We'll talk more about that after okay. the break. Yes, yeah, so um, you're talking about unique quality products. Now, can you tell me uh, what's the difference with your leather compared to other leather bags or other brands? Okay, actually we, we might use like the same kind of the leather, but if we get like some whole piece of leather, it's gonna, they're gonna look different. So that's, that's why we make like some colors on 
our letter. Mm -hmm. So I really got like no words to describe like <laughs> how we're different. It's like pretty obvious, <laughs> like how we're different from other brands. Yeah. So it's quality and style. Yes. I guess yes, it's I hard say. to find. Yes. Uh, because leather is usually marketed or created in such yes. a certain type, I guess. Yes. It is very different. It's yes, it's like mostly we do export, so we cannot use just like the cheap quality of the leather. We have to use like good, quite good leather quality, yes. Mm, that's good, that's good. And um, can you tell about us about uh, what kind of materials do you also use and incorporate in your products? We just use like leather just 100 percent cow leather that's what we use yes but like uh, i read i read about your brand actually that you actually use like for the buckles for everything yes. you actually go into very extreme uh you it's a very big selection for you like you have to use the best yes what what other what other materials do you use besides leather just like some kind of this we have to like all like the small parts yeah. like even the start it had to be like under our brand hop as you can see on the side we have hop on it and this small part we have hop on it as well oh, okay are they are oh, so it's made like, yes make it yourself like custom made wow <laughs> custom made okay and um can you tell us about the the process of the leather making and uh leather handling okay because so, you say you say you make it yourself yes so, yes so I'm um, a star like Hop. It's gonna be the one who like pick the leather, choose the leather from my parents' shop. We're gonna come in the whole piece, and we're gonna take like the whole piece of leather in like natural color first, and then we go to go to like the cutting factory to get the shape that we like. Uh huh. We got like ten styles something, and then after that, when it's cut in shape already, Hop is gonna do like the colors. Uh -huh. We use like um, waterproof color mm, and we use the heat waterproof. to make the color as well. And after that, we got some stuff which is like Hop's wife to <laughs> put like um, this part in the buckle. The buckle, yes. And I am the one who put it all together in the back. What do you What do you mean put it all together? It's like um, I have to like punch the hole to get this thing and. Fold it, put the starch on it, and like tighten it, and it's come into the bag. And they're gonna add some chain later. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so so customers, if you buy a Hobbs bag, and if the buckle bit is wrong, then you can blame Hobbs girlfriend, <laughs> wife. If this part is wrong, then you can, yeah, blame, you can blame her. Blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what what does Hobbs do? Hobbs he create all the product here. And he do all the colors and the style, yes. Okay. And after that, his job is finished, and now it's my job and his wife's job. That's nice. Well, after the break, we'll come back and talk a bit more about the marketing. Okay.